Hi, I'm Katie. Today we're presenting to you from Mr. Liquor Store. Um, I wanted to show you how to make one of our favorite cocktails today. You know, um, in the world right now, there's a lot of stress and a lot of crazy things going on, and we're all learning to adapt. But what is also very important is how to relax. And what better to relax than sipping on everybody's favorite cocktail, the margarita. Um, I'm gonna show you though, not to make a regular margarita today, I wanna show you how to make the perfect margarita. It's gonna have very simple ingredients, very easy to pick up all the ingredients in one stop in your liquor store, and it's going to impress everybody at your backyard party. So, um, what you're going to need is obviously Patron or Casamigos, which these are my two favorite. You can use whatever tequila you want, but I brought these because again, they're my favorites. Also, um, I recommend using a Reposado. And next, we're going to be using a Patron Citronge instead of a typical triple sec or um, things that you'd normally see on a menu to make a margarita. This actually is just an orange liqueur. It doesn't have any tequila in it, but it is excellent and it's sweet and fruity and it's perfect for a margarita in the summertime. Also, can't forget your limes. Always, always make fresh juice. For any of the cocktails that you're making, fresh juice is always the best. Um, don't buy any of the bottled stuff. I mean, if you, if you do, it's just gonna, it already has chemicals and preservatives in it that you just don't really need in your um, margaritas. It's gonna be a lot better, I promise you. And then, um, yeah, we already have our glass and we rimmed it with salt and I'm just gonna get started and we'll show you how to make this. So first, you're gonna want your shaker. Maybe you do it like half full of ice. And then um, something I wanna teach all of you to do is to withhold on putting your most expensive of your spirits in to last. You don't want it sitting at the bottom waiting for the rest of the cocktail to be built and have it all watered down. So we're gonna do our tequila last. So first, I'm going to just take simple syrup. Now you can buy this in a store if you need to, but really it's super simple to make at home. All you have to do is half sugar, half hot water, and that's it. And it's gonna make you as much simple syrup as you will ever, you really won't be able to get rid of it. There's gonna be so much of it. So for this, we're gonna use a whole ounce. That's gonna give it the sweet. And then again, I squeezed my own lime juice. And with this, you're gonna to wanna to just do a little bit. Little goes a long way with lime juice. So you're just gonna do half of an ounce. Voila. And then we're gonna put in our sweet orange, again, Patron Citronge. And we're gonna do an ounce and a half of that. Okay. And then of course, now we're to our favorite part, the tequila. For this specific cocktail, I'm going to use the Patron Reposado. Again, these are two of my favorites. But if you're hosting a party or you're just doing it for yourself and you just don't know what to grab, everybody trusts Patron, everybody knows Patron. It's just an easy one to go with. We're gonna do a healthy two ounce pour. Yum. And then go ahead and shake it up. And if you're not, I mean, obviously, you don't need to be an experienced cocktail or bartender, um, anything. You just need to make sure you shake this for at least a good 10 shakes, or as long as the outside of this is nice and frosty, then you know the inside's nice and frosty. Okay. Pop that right off there. And then this should be... Perfect. And then, piece of resistance. Voila. And that will be your perfect Patron Margarita. Thanks.